cytokines and antibodies. So we'll be talking about unveiling effective compliance and anti fault strategies. And we will do a deep dive with BDO forensic experts that I will introduce you to, to you shortly. Thank you. So for today's agenda, we're gonna do an overview of compliance and anti fault landscape. We'll also talk about the importance of forensic accounting and fraud detection. We'll talk about best practices for maintaining compliance, practical approaches to detecting fraud, latest strategies and tactics and anti-fraud measures, actionable insights for fraud prevention, and ensuring compliance with laws and regulations. And we'll end with a Q&A session. And I'd like to encourage all of you to um, post your questions on this chat, and then we'll set a few minutes at the end of the webinar to discuss these questions. In the meantime, please sit back and enjoy this webinar. Thank you. So I'd like to introduce you all to Zahir Sheikh, who's a partner for Risk Advisory, Internal Audit and Forensic Services at BDO in East Africa. He has over 30 years of experience, seven years in the UK and 24 years of experience here in Kenya. He established the first forensic practice in Kenya in 2000 and grew it to the team of 25 full-time forensic specialists. As a regional partner of the Forensic Services Business Unit, Zahir has been involved in managing large complex investigations, and today he'll be our panelist. The next panelist I'd like to introduce you to is Joseph Monzange, who is the Assistant Manager in Risk Advisory, Internal Audit and Forensics within B Video East Africa. And he's an Audit Assurance, Risk Management and Internal Audit and Governance professional with over seven years demonstrated experience in several industries. And prior to joining BDO, he worked with RSM East Africa and ESL Group. Next, I'd like to introduce you to Roger Muya, who is the Assistant Manager in Risk Advisory, Internal Audit and Forensics in BDO East Africa here. They're all from the same department. And he is a Forensic Audit, Fraud Investigation and Risk Computer Forensics Professional with over five years of demonstrated experience. And prior to joining BDO, he was a senior associate at Stealth Africa Consulting. And now I'd like to pass it on to Zahir to introduce BDO Global to everyone. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks a lot, Meha. And uh, a very warm welcome to all of you once again, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's my pleasure to be here. I'm particularly excited uh, about being here today because um, you know this is what I enjoy doing. Uh, and this is really the bread and butter of what I've done for many, many years now. Um, but before I delve into uh, tonight's topic, let me tell you a little bit about BDO. Uh, some of you already know BDO, uh, but those who are not very familiar with BDO, we're a global organization that provides audit and advisory services. We've been around for a long time. Last year, our turnover was 12.8 billion US dollars. We have a presence in most countries in the world. As you can see from the gray area, 164 countries, over 1,800 offices, and over 111,000 professionals um, all working together to serve our clients. Uh, next slide, please. In Africa, we have a fairly large footprint as well, as you can see with all the blue shaded areas. The regional office uh, in East Africa basically runs uh, the practices in Kenya, in Uganda, in Tanzania, in Rwanda, and in Ethiopia. In all of these uh, countries, we have established offices that provide a full range of all the services uh, that BDO provides. Uh, next slide, please. And basically, these are some of the uh, core services that we provide. Um, audit and assurance, which is basically statutory audit, uh, audit of donor-funded projects, special purpose audits, internal control audits, uh, IFRS training, and so on and so forth. We also provide a whole range of taxation services, including tax compliance, tax advisory, uh, tax audits, transfer pricing advice, uh, advice on employment and expatriate taxation, 
corporate international planning for taxes, and we also provide uh, tax opinions, and we uh, participate in tax tribunal activities as well. And then we have uh, business services and outsourcing, which is a BPO service where we provide outsourced services for accounting, bookkeeping, uh, compilation of uh, books of accounts, right up to statutory reports, management reporting, payroll services, company secretarial services, and many other services. And then finally, the division where I sit, which is uh, advisory services. And within advisory services, we provide a whole range of internal audit services, which are outsourced or co-sourced. So we basically work alongside with uh, the board of directors, the audit risk uh, committee of the board to provide internal audit assurance uh, to the board and to stakeholders. We also provide a whole range of management consultancy services, uh, business turnaround and corporate recovery services, corporate finance, transaction advisory services, forensic investigations, uh, and technology advisory services. And we also provide advice on sustainability services, as well as data protection and data privacy services. So basically, um, to start with uh, the topic for today, which is uh, an overview of compliance and anti-fraud landscape, um, let's uh, look into the dynamic world of what this means. Uh, it's a landscape that's always on the move, driven by a whole whirlwind of changes in technology, shifting regulations, and also the ever smart tactics of those who are up to no good, which is basically our brothers uh, in fraud. So today we are diving into the challenges that organizations across different industries are tackling as they try to stay one step ahead of these evolving threats. Imagine this scenario, you're steering a ship through ever changing waters and the winds of technology, regulations and sophisticated fraud are constantly shifting and moving you around. Navigating through this requires a keen understanding of the challenges on the horizon. So let's break down a few key aspects you need to start your compass for. Uh, next slide, please. So let's go into the key aspects uh, in compliance and anti-fraud. We know today's world is interconnected and technological advancements, regulatory changes, and increasing sophistication of frauds and fraudsters activities, this is the order of the day. And organizations across various industries now face a myriad of challenges. So let's look at some of the aspects of those challenges. Starting off with regulatory compliance. I mean, in, in the realm of regulatory compliance and regulatory complexity, organizations operating globally find themselves navigating a very complex web of compliance requirements from different jurisdictions. This complexity arises from number one, varying legal frameworks, but also number two, reporting standards and then cultural differences. The inability to harmonize operations within diverse regulations increases the risk of non-compliance. And this can lead to legal consequences. It can lead to financial penalty, penalties and to reputational damage. So to illustrate this, consider a multinational corporation adhering to GDPR rules in Europe while simultaneously addressing the unique regulatory landscape in say pan-African member states. We know there's more than 50 of them. So imagine a company which has got a large footprint such as BDO and many other of you will be in such uh, firms this can be a real challenge. So continuous monitoring is paramount. Organizations need robust systems for real-time assessment to adapt swiftly to changes in regulatory landscapes. This adaptability is not just a competitive advantage, but a necessity in our dynamic business environment. Next, let's look at technological advances and cyber threat. 
I mean, talking about tech, it's a double-edged sword. As we ride the wave of innovation, those crafty fraudsters, remember, they are surfing right alongside us. As technology evolves, so does adaptive fraud techniques. Today, organizations are facing increasingly sophisticated cyber threats, including AI-driven attacks, ransomware, and social engineering schemes. Mitigating these threats demands substantial investment in cybersecurity measures. This includes things like advanced threat detection systems, employee training, and regular security assessments. Let's picture a scenario where a company's robust security, a cybersecurity infrastructure not only safeguards sensitive data, but also maintains the trust of its clients in the face of relentless cyber threats. Constant vigilance is essential and imperative. Organizations need to stay ahead of emerging threats, regularly updating their cybersecurity infrastructure. In a world where technology is both a boon and a challenge, maintaining a state of constant vigilance becomes a strategic imperative. Next, next, let's look at uh, data privacy concerns. Stringent regulations like GDPR and our own local data protection laws demand meticulous attention to the handling and protection of personal data. Non-compliance can result in severe financial penalties, as some of us have found, and adherence to these laws is now not uh, optional, it's crucial. So safeguarding customer data not only ensures compliance, but also maintains customer trust. Imagine a breach of personal data leading not just to reputational damage, but also to the loss of clientele. Implementing things such as encryption, access controls, and regular audits. These are all vital components of a comprehensive data protection strategy. The race the rise of uh, data protection and data privacy concerns necessitate a proactive approach to securing sensitive information. And whether you like it or not, we are in a digital arms race. We are talking serious investment in cybersecurity, top-notch detection systems, continuous staff training, and regular security checkups. Next, let's look at uh, resource constraints. We're now talking money. Not everybody is rolling in money, as you know, especially the small players. Budget constraints are real, and there's a real shortage of cyber savvy professionals. Budgetary limitations and a shortage of these skilled professionals in fields such as cybersecurity uh, and compliance, these are common challenges. Many organizations, particularly smaller ones, they face constraints that limit their ability to invest, to invest in sophisticated compliance and anti-fraud measures. Training existing staff and recruiting specialized talent become critical strategies. Prioritization has to be the key. Organizations must focus on the most critical areas within their resource limitations. Consider a scenario where a small but agile company strategically allocates its limited resources to fortify its most vulnerable points. And then there's the issue of real-time monitoring and detection. Again, I want you to picture this. Tons of data flying around in cyberspace. It's like trying to find a needle in a haystack. We need high-tech tools, analytics, machine learning, to spot anom anomalies and, uh, and other uh, events in real time. It's a bit like having a superhero squad for our data. We know now we live in an era of big data. The sheer volume of data generated requires advanced analytics and monitoring tools for real time detection of anomalies and potential fraud indicators. Automation and machine learning play a crucial role here. Implementing these technologies enhances your ability to identify patterns and anomalies. 
allowing for quicker responses to potential threats. Real-time monitoring systems should seamlessly integrate with your existing IT infrastructure. This ensures a cohesive and effective response to emerging threats. You need to regularly test and update these systems. This is essential for their efficacy. Imagine an organization equipped with state-of-the-art monitoring tools, which are swiftly able to detect and neutralize potential threats before they can cause serious harm to the organization. So here's the deal. It's a never ending party of improvement. That's what we got to do. Regular checkups, learning from our slip ups and staying ahead of the curve. Uh, this is basically what is required of those who are in the front line in fighting fraud and uh, corruption. Um, next slide. So now we're going to talk a little bit about forensic accounting in fraud investigation. So let's take a dive into forensic accounting and discover how this can unveil financial mysteries and fraud. We start by delving into the intriguing world of forensic accounting, where numbers, investigations, and legal proceedings come together in a unique way. Picture this as almost like Sherlock Holmes uh, of a financial um, world, digging into records, unveiling irregularities, and exposing financial misconduct within organizations. So what actually makes a forensic accounting tick? What makes it work? Let's break it down for you. So first of all, there's investigative techniques. Again, imagine forensic accountants as financial detectives armed with a toolkit of investigative techniques. They dive deep into financial documents, they scrutinize transactions, and they spot patterns that could be red flags for fraud or financial crimes. This is a meticulous process. It's like piecing together a complex puzzle to reveal the bigger picture. As an example, Consider a forensic accountant examining a company's financial records and noticing a series of unusually high transactions with no clear explanations. Then, through careful analysis, they uncover a scheme where fictitious vendors were created to siphon off funds, a classic case of financial mismanagement and financial fraud. The next one is the legal context. Forensic accountants don't operate in a vacuum. They're firmly grounded in a legal framework and they have to abide by the laws while they're doing their work. Their findings aren't just for show. They can be used as crucial evidence in legal proceedings. Collaboration is actually the key here as they work hand in hand with law enforcement agencies, with attorneys, lawyers, and other professionals involved in unbundling the legal uh, elements of fraud. Again, I want you to picture an example where a forensic accountant assisting in a legal case, say, uh, involving embezzlement or theft. Their findings will be meticulously documented and they will be backed by solid evidence. This then becomes the pivotal asset in the courtroom. And this is what can lead to the conviction of the perpetrator. Next, let's look at uh, document analysis. Now we are talking uh, paperwork. And this, remember, this is the bread and butter of forensic accounting. Financial statements, bank records, invoices. This is the canvas, canvas on which forensic accountants paint their investigative masterpiece. By meticulously analyzing all these company documents, forensic experts will unearth discrepancies, irregularities, and signs of fraudulent activities. Again, imagine an example where a forensic accountant is going through a company's financial statements and he or she discovers inconsistencies in revenue reporting. So further scrutiny reveals a manipulation of sales figures, leading to the identification 
of a revenue recognition fraud, which until now had gone unnoticed. So that's document analysis for you. Now let's look at uh, expert testimony. Sometimes forensic accountants will find themselves under the spotlight and in a courtroom. They become the financial storytellers because they will explain complex concepts, they will present their findings, and they actually help the judge and the court to grasp the financial intricacies of a case. We all know uh, fraud can be very, very complex. So this is a role that demands both financial expertise and also effective communication skills. Again, uh, take the example of a forensic accountant providing expert testimony. In a case involving, say, a financial dispute between business partners, their clear and concise explanation of financial transactions and discrepancies, this is what will become a guiding light for the court in reaching what is a fair and informed decision. So that's how uh, forensic accountants help in court, providing expert testimony. And finally, let's look at fraud prevention and detection. I mean, forensic accountants, they're not just uh, clean up crews, you know, who come and they clean up the mess. They are actually proactive forces in the fight against fraud. Beyond investigating after the fact, once the incident has happened, forensic accountants can actively contribute to the development and implementation of measures to prevent fraud. This involves evaluating and fortifying internal controls within organization, organizations. Again, consider an example where a forensic accountant conducts a thorough review of an organizational financial processes. And through this examination, which is a proactive examination because fraud hasn't happened, the forensic accountant is able to identify weaknesses in internal control systems and recommend enhancements to prevent potential fraud schemes thereby creating a robust defense against financial frauds. In the captain world of forensic accounting, these professionals, professionals such as myself, we are not just number crunchers. They are actually financial detectives. They are the best friends of lawyers and they are the guardians of financial mis misdeeds and misconduct. Their work goes beyond the balance sheets. It's about uncovering the truth hidden within the numbers. Uh, next slide, please. Let's now unveil the veil on fraud detection and let's talk about the art and science of fraud detection. Here, we are shining a spotlight on the intricate world of fraud detection. This is a crucial process that safeguards organizations from the shadows of financial misconduct. As we know, fraud wears many, many disguises from downright theft or embezzlement to juggling of financial statements and other financial trickery in reporting. Our goal is to expose these deceptions. So how do we go about it? Let's unravel the key elements of fraud detection. So starting with data analysis. Again, I want you to imagine diving into a sea of data, searching for the subtle ripples that betray the presence of fraud. You can almost smell it. When you go into the data, you can smell this fraud, you can detect it. So data analysis is our compass in this vast ocean. It's our tool, helping us to identify unusual